Today we are going to create a little scenario. Just imagine a poet has come to you as a composer with a short verse that she wants you to turn into a children's song. How do you go about it? Where do you even start? Well, much of the musical information comes from the verse itself. So let's look at the words. Children are flying their kites on the breeze, up in the air, over the trees. As their creations go sailing by, colours and laughter fill the sky. The trick is to say the words over a few times until you feel the natural pulse and rhythm of the text. What we want is for the lyrics to fall into a natural setting. We certainly don't want them to sound awkward or disrupted. So, after a few readings of the text, you should start to feel where the words fall rhythmically. Children, there's one right at the beginning, are flying their kites on the breeze. Up in the air over the trees as their creations now there's one that falls right in the middle of a word go sailing by colors and laughter fill the sky that's it so we've marked all the stress points that we found in the text so these stress points will become our bar lines. And now that we have our own bar lines, we should be able to determine our time signature. So a quick look back at our words will reveal that there are three main beats between each stress point. And three beats per bar means three, four. So the time signature for our song will be three, four. Very simple. Now we have bar lines and a time signature. It's time to create the rhythm and again the information comes from the text. So here we go. Let's put in the rhythm. Children are flying their kites on the breeze. Now there's a whole bar for breeze. And I know what you're saying. Look, rhythmically, things are looking a little dull and uninteresting at the stage. But don't be too concerned. There are tricks we can do to make the rhythm more interesting later in the process. Let's go with the rhythm that we've got at the moment. Up in the air. Another whole bar. Over the trees. As their creations go say ling by colors and laughter fill the sky so now we have quite a lot of information about our composition and we haven't written a note we've got a time signature we've got bar lines and now we've got the melodic rhythm so now we're ready to start thinking about pitch so let's pick a key signature and again the words will tell us whether we should be using a major key or a minor key or even some other form of tonality. In our case I think the choice is pretty simple. The text is bright and cheerful so a major key is the obvious choice. I'm going to choose D major. That's a nice easy key. So to the notes themselves and completely independent of the text we need to create a chord progression. Today, I'm just going to give you a chord progression because creating progressions really requires an entire video all of its own. So I'll put that one on my to-do list. But for the time being, this chord progression, it should do the job. So now we have a chord progression and I put this chord symbols into the score and on top of that the melodic line but the melodic line at the moment is just the rhythm on one note. I have the lyrics underneath the rhythm and simply by using the up and down arrows on the keyboard 
I'll move the pitch to fit with the underlying chords. So I move the first note up to the chord note A. I leave the G as a passing note to the other chord note, F sharp. On to bar two. We'll have a chord note, F sharp, make the next note an auxiliary note, which is chromatic even, and return to the F sharp. You can see how the melody sticks to the chords and we use passing and auxiliary notes to add color to the melody. Moving on to bar three, the chord notes B and F sharp. Then G is a passing note to chord note A in bar four. Bar five, the lyrics are up in the air. So I want my line to go up, just as the lyrics suggest. So G, passing note to B, and then back to A. The next phrase, starting in bar seven, over the trees. Well, the lyrics don't seem so high this time, so I'm going to move the phrase down. This is called a sequence. I can sequence the pattern again by starting on a B. In bar 10, we'll go with a chord note, auxiliary note, chromatic again, and back to the same chord note. All chord notes for bars 11 and 12. And moving on to bar 13, I use another passing note and include a chromatic note to delay the arrival of the chord note A in bar 14. All chord notes in bar 14 and in bars 15 and 16, I'm just going to follow the top notes of the chords underneath because it's a nice phrase in its own right. Now this was where I was going to get the highly paid singer to come in and sing our song, but she wasn't available today, so I'll just have to sing it for you. Children are flying their kites on the breeze Up in the air, over the trees As their creations go sailing by Colours and laughter fill the sky Now that melody writing process may have seemed complicated to you, and if so, we'll just stick to what you know. Chord notes, passing notes, and auxiliary notes will always produce good melodies. There's only one improvement I want to make to our melody. Remember when I said we can always make dull music more interesting? Well, let's tweak the rhythm a little to create more interest. We need to look for words that don't have a warm musical sound and hide them by giving them a short duration. The word the is the obvious one. It is an ugly sound. But we have another one right here in bar one. The syllable drin is a dry dead sound. So let's make it a quaver and extend the nicer sounding chill to a dotted crotchet. In bar three, there's our word the. Let's give it less significance by making it a quaver. Can you see how we are minimizing the, the drier dead sounds and creating some rhythmic interest at the same time? We can do the same in bar seven. And in bar 11, let's extend the say sound from the word sailing and shorten the less resonant ling. I'll also sound the say sound over two notes. This technique is called melisma. I can add another melisma in bar 14 by sounding the syllable laugh over two notes. And I think that's enough for our melody. So with our melody now complete, let's finish off the song by adding an accompanying pattern to the underlying chords. Children are flying their kites on the breeze Up in the air, over the trees As their creations go sailing by Colours and laughter fill the sky 
So this is really quite an effective children's song. But really, this word setting process can be used to create songs of any genre, from art song to rock anthems. The process is always the same. So let's quickly recap the word setting process. Number one, use your text to generate bar lines, a time signature, and the melodic rhythm. Number two, create a chord progression to support your melodic line. And finally, use chord notes, passing notes, and auxiliary notes to create an effective melody. The kites on the breeze, up in the air, over the trees, as the creations go sailing by, colors and laughter fill the sky.